Thanks, Heather and Ali. Now, they are right. I take my space program very seriously. Always have, always will. It's why I'm here today in the Apollo Saturn V Center at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. And behind me is the actual Apollo 14 capsule. Now, my love of science fiction comes from my love of science fact. And I have to say, the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex is probably my favorite place to visit for that reason. You may not know it, but without the space shuttle missions, we wouldn't have a lot of the technology that we have today. There are so many discoveries that have come from NASA's research and experimentation. The de-icing fluid used on the wings of commercial planes, hand sanitizer, and even medical procedures have all grown leaps and bounds because of the shuttle program. Google the many inventions that are in your everyday life because of NASA, and I really think you're going to be surprised. Now, for the first time in 30 years, NASA is giving the average citizen a pass to see one of the most historical sites associated with American scientific history. From now, maybe through the end of the year, but you'll see it's a little flexible, you can actually take the KSD Up Close Tour that stops inside the VAB, the Vehicle Assembly Building. Now, we've been here before with Banks Lee, but at that time, we were only allowed to film outside of the building, and even that was a pretty big thrill. But we had no idea what the next few months would bring. And believe me, I am very excited about this building. So I just really am excited for you to see what's inside. Come on. Andrea Farmer. Andrea Farmer is the spokesperson, public relations manager extraordinaire here at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Andrea, thank you for being here with us today. Thanks, Audrey. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Welcome to Kennedy. We're already having a blast. We've uh, we've already looked around a little bit, um, but I want to ask you some questions about what we're going to go do next. We are going to take the, is it called the Kennedy uh, Up Close Tour? Kennedy Space Center Up Close Tour, or for insiders, we just say KSC Up Close. Ooh, a fancy acronym. There we go. I know, one of many acronyms you'll hear at Kennedy Space Center, but we try, that's our key to here for a good time, is we break down all those mysterious acronyms so that you, know, it, you, can, uh, you can understand the space program. Tell me what we're going to be doing today. As you begin your journey inside Kennedy Space Center, it's a place where you can't just go in and drive your car. We have a, a, a communicator who's there to help explain what you're seeing. You'll go past NASA headquarters and on to the NASA Causeway where you have this amazing panoramic view of all the launch pads from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station to the Kennedy Space Center launch pads. And there it gives you a, a real feeling of all the activity that is going on here because rockets are still launching even though the shuttle program has ended. And we're getting ready for the Space Launch System, a new program from NASA. SpaceX is launching uh, two to three times this year, plus Atlas V's from the United Launch Alliance. So lots of, lots of excitement, and you get a sense of that at this first stop. Then you're on your way to the Vehicle Assembly Building. This is where rockets were built. This is where they were assembled, the mighty 363 foot long Apollo Saturn V rockets before they went out to the launch pads. This is where they came together. Same with the shuttles. So you're going to be walking on what I think is hollowed ground. It's a very special place where uh, this all this technology, um, thousands of people worked on these programs to make great things happen. That's exactly, we called it hollowed ground earlier. And I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't say that on camera. So I'm glad to hear somebody else say, this is, this is a seriously historic place we're gonna see. And it's a very cool place because we haven't been able to take visitors there in more than 30 years. And we don't know how much longer we'll be able to do this. We hope through the end of this year. But after that, there could be new rockets that are in production. They have chemicals, dangerous, hazardous, and we can't bring the public into that type of an area. Where can we find out about all this detailed info so they can make their travel plans? Going to KennedySpaceCenter.com and you can find all kinds of information, upcoming space rocket launches. There's even a countdown clock so that it'll Ooh, cool. clue you into when the next launch is coming up. I have one more question for you, actually. Yes. Has anybody ever gotten like a little misty and emotional? It is emotional, and some people are making that connection because they followed the space program for so long, or they had people who, family members who worked in the VAB, or it's just awesome to be standing in this place where history was made, and you read all about it, and now you're actually standing there. Okay, so I'm not going to feel bad about it if I get a little bit emotional. I, I did the first few times I walked in the VAB. All right. It's 
So amazing. I'm ready for this. Let's go, you guys. We got to go see this. Thank right. you again. Thank you so Thank much. You. We'll see you later. I'll probably have tears going down my face. But <laughs> All right. Let's go. All right. <laughs> so this is it. This is the VAB, the Vehicle Assembly. <laughs> and it's sometimes kind of hard to tell just how big or small something is on camera. Let me give you some statistics to help you understand. The stripes on the American flag are as wide as the lane on a road. So theoretically speaking, you could drive a car up one of those stripes. And as far as the building being tall, well, you can almost fit two Statues of Liberty in there. So that's a tall building. <laughs> now, the public hasn't been able to go in here for 30 years. So we're getting a, a huge peek behind the scenes here. And you can get it too if you make it on time. So I don't know about you, but I can't wait anymore. I've got to get in there. So come on, let's go look. You're coming with me. I'm misting up a little bit. It's just, there are no words. This is, for starters, definitely the biggest building I've ever been in. But just knowing everything that's gone on in here and how much things have changed because of the work that's taken place partially in this building, I just, I talk a lot, but I just don't have the words. This is cool. <laughs> Look at this. They're actually shuttle banners. Um, there we go again. There's a shuttle for every banner. You gotta take a look at this. It says, we're behind you, Endeavor. We're behind you, Discovery. It's just, it's very cool. Now we're with a guide today. His name is Curtis. And he's been telling us all sorts of really cool things about how this building actually works. So um, when they brought the shuttles in, they would bring them in horizontally. And there are these huge cranes on the ceiling. And the cranes would grab the shuttle and take it from horizontal to vertical. And from there, they lift it up very high up and there's like a little slot in the wall and then over into another room and then that's where they drop it down to work on it so this is this is not even the final stop so it comes in here horizontally gets picked up and goes to another part of the building that's how big this building is so i'm here in the treasures gallery and i'm standing in front of alan shepherd's actual extravehicular suit from the apollo 14 mission i have to tell you something really cool there's still moon dust on this suit. This thing has been to the moon and you can tell for yourself. You have got to come and see this. It's very awe-inspiring. Now, at most theme parks, the sights, sounds, and premises for the entertainment are fictional. But when you set foot here on the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, everything is real. It's like walking into the movie Apollo 13 or The Right Stuff. This is where thousands of people have come together to advance the well-being of, pardon me for going a little bit overboard, but advancing the well-being of humanity. When you're here, you feel the potential of the human race. Now, it seems like sci-fi when you look at the astronaut suits or some of the artifacts that they have on display, but it's real. Please add this to your vacation must-do list. You won't be sorry. And I think with that, I'm officially all geeked out. I'm tempted to sign off like LeVar Burton from Reading Rainbow, but instead, I'm just going to throw it back to you, Heather and Ali. Actually, I can't resist. We'll see you next time. There's a little bit of shine, but you're not, it's okay. not like it's June. As long as it's not, you know, yeah. John Belushi's butt. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's gross. <laughs> Nobody Very wants gross. to see that. No. <laughs> nope. That's why I'm behind camera. That's